Welcome, and here is my whole story. I had some problems with audio codec on this great WaveShare AMOLED board, and I wanted to play MP3 files stored on SD card. And whenever I get stuck on something, I usually ask Nick the Fix to help me out. Nick the Fix is kind of Bob the Builder for microcontrollers. He sent me some working code, and the next day he sent me improved version. He added USB mass storage feature, so the user doesn't have to remove the SD card from the board every time they want to add new MT3 files. Basically, what the code does is uh, it make, makes the ESP32 with SD card behave like a USB drive, when plugged into PC. That means I can see all the files, add new ones and even run them directly from it. The best part is you don't need additional libraries, it is already implemented in the core. You just need to install the latest board definition, the current version is 3.3.1. This feature is uh, really useful, if nothing you can use your old micro SD cards. These days we rarely use uh, USB drives, but sometimes they are still coming handy. I still need them for my work because some areas at school don't have internet access. After trying Nick's example, I immediately got a few ideas. It would be cool to use ESP32 development board as a fancy USB storage drive. One that can list all the files on the sc screen before you even plug the, the USB in. I always have the same problem at work, I have too many USB drives and I never know what's, what's on them. But now I can see files uh, that are currently on this SD card. And this board can do this because there is a battery inside. Uh, but the problem is that the battery will eventually go empty. But we can solve this problem by using development board with e-paper. Each time board is plugged in, uh, it will this display will show current files on SD card and it will still behave like USB pen drive. But another <laughs> problem is if you want to use these boards as USB drives, you always need to have a USB-C cable with you. And I, I always have a few of them in my backpack, but normal people don't carry <laughs> them around. And there is also a solution because uh, there are boards with built-in USB-A or this one, for example. We already saw this um, nice board with high-definition display, but here is also SD card slot. But this can be very fragile if I just put it in backpack. But this one. has also uh, SD card and this one is really protected and it really looks like USB drive. I will turn on in this cable and it will also list the files. And what is really great, this is really cheap. This is ESP32 S3 Geek board and it have this USB drive form factor and it is very cheap, less than $10. I'm not sure can I even find board with case and SD card slot and uh, 240 by 135 pixels board for less than $10.
there are few GPIOs here and boot button which can also be programmed. I will put affiliate links of uh, all uh, three boards in the video description. Uh, the money I make at school hasn't uh, been enough lately. I have big wishes, to be honest. They say that if you want something strongly enough, it will come true. And uh, I want to rule this galaxy. And if you want to help me rule this galaxy, you can support my work via Patreon, Coffee, and YouTube members. I will also share code for each board and I will put libraries in readme. I will add readme files and uh, write there because every video I make is same about libraries, about installation and I think uh, I made very boring videos lately. I will put the links for these boards, but uh, I will also uh, put basic sketch if you want to try this on any board. You don't, I'm just joking, you don't need to buy these. You can use any board you have. There are plenty of other boards that can, that have SD card slot for, for example, this wave share. Actually, I have this my wave share box. But before box, uh, I need to show you some settings in Arduino IDE because there is, you need to upload this slightly different than usual. Mm, so here is a USB basic without, USB files basic sketch without the display. So this sketch will work with any board that has uh, SD card slot. You will just need to change your pins because on every board there are different pins for SD card. You can find those definition and boards in board description or on the board page. So uh, for this example to work you will need to have a ESP32 at least. I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure which uh, when they included uh, this, but it, it is definitely working on version 3.3.1 and it will work on any newer version. And what you need to do is to choose your chip. Mine is ESP S3. You can set flash size accordingly to your board. If you have PSRAM, pre please enable it. And what is different here, upload mode, you need to use USB OTG. And here, USB mode, USB OTG. So, upload mode needs to be USB OTG and USB mode needs to be USB OTG. And now you can upload your board. After upload, your board will not be any visible here in uh, ports. So if you want to change sketch and, and upload something else, you will need to return board in uh, program mode by, by pressing the boot button while powering the board. So here we have a nice collection wave share boards. I already used this one a couple of times. SD card slot. SD card slot. SD card slot. I haven't used this one, but it looks very nice. SD card slot. SD card slot. So basically, all their boards have SD card slot, and you and you can use any of them for for basic sketch, which will not display anything on display.
but you can add that part by your own. Very nice. This is my probably favorite design stopwatch, but I, I like simplicity of it. Very good, very good. You have a video about it on my channel. What is this? And, and here is my step counter. Each step will make sound, so uh, people on the road will think you are weird and not normal, and uh, people uh, very often think that I'm not normal when I am testing my devices, which are very useful. Thank you for your time. I hope this was useful. It was very useful to me. Thank, thank you, Nick, that for introducing me those new features. And this hobby is great because you always learn something new and new features and new possibilities. And it is really fun. Thank you and goodbye.